tradition in agriculture is needed for the profitability of the farmer to empower farmers and also reduce post-harvest losses. Welcome to the Ghanaian Farmer TV show. My name is Enyunam. Share your views with us on social media across our platform, the Ghanaian Farmer. Are you interested in going into noni farming? This episode is made for you. Just share your views with us. Your questions are welcome on our YouTube channel, the Ghanaian Farmer. This program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix. If you go to the market in your shopping, make sure you grab one of your Lizzie and bring it home to prepare all your meal. Like I'm saying, um, the one thing that is lacking in agriculture has to do with value addition. Are our farmers able to add value to the crops they harvest at the end of the day? That is a big question that needs answers. And Mr. Jacob Eshan Jr., who happens to be a farmer, an educationist, and a public health consultant, is changing the narratives by adding value to the noni he harvests from his five-acre noni farm here in Ghana. We are going for a quick breather. And when we come back, we'll engage Mr. Eshan in an intensive conversation. Stay with us. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. If you just tune in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer here on Joy Prime. Mr. Shane, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Uh, this is my second time of meeting you after the Ghanaian Farmer Conference. Great. <laughs> <laughs> now, so um, for the benefit of those who are watching, mm -hmm. when we say noni farming, noni farming, can you explain for us to understand or get a clearer picture of what a noni farming is? Great. Noni farming is the cultivation of noni. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a piece of land. Then you start from the nursery of the seed. Okay. It takes between three to six months for the seed to germinate. Wow. Yeah. I have nursed some that took three months, depending on the rainfall pattern. Okay. Three months it started germinating. And I had some that took six months mm. before it started germinating. Okay. Then uh, when it gets to transplanting, it will take you about a year or two for it to come up enough for transplanting. Then you transplant it from the seedling bed to the farm. Mm. The farm, it will take you, count yourself, by four years. You start, you see the thing fruiting. It will start fruiting. Then that is the, from small size. Okay. But, but between four and five years, mm. you reach the maximum fruit. The size of noni fruit is like my fist, okay. my hand. Right. Good. Then it has reached its maturity. So from your four to fifth year, then you see the real noni fruit at its uh, peak. Okay. So in, in simplicity, mm. give yourself between f one to five years mm. for noni plantation and fully noni ready fully ready okay. and noni belongs to the tree cropping okay tree cropping right it's like the cocoa mm. tree uh -huh. mm. but noni fruit mm. every month when it starts fruiting we'll get to that point um you mentioned there are varieties there's one that takes three months there's one that takes six months the nursery mm -hmm. am i correct yeah nice if i want to cultivate a one acre farm noni farm how many seedlings are we looking at uh, if you read the literature, mm -hmm. it will tell you you need um, one acre farm, you need uh, three, uh, 320. Okay. But from our research in Ghana, here, we realize that one acre, you can plant 50 or 100. 50 or 100, 100. pieces? Yes. Of the if seedling. you don't want to mm -hmm. prune okay. the trees, mm. then go for 50 noni plants per acre. Okay. That one. Mm -hmm. It will grow and big to become a tree. Right. And then you have more fruit at okay. every 30 days. Mm. Because it, the fruiting is exponential. Mm. It's like if this year you had uh, four barrels, mm. the next you're going to have increase. times okay. two. You're going to have 16. Okay. Mm. The next. Mm -hmm. So it is exponential because as the branches are growing, it increases the yield. Right. That is how it is. Okay. So if you don't want to prune your trees mm -hmm. as you go, yes, mm -hmm. then make it 50 per acre. All right. That makes sense. Now, where do we get the noni seedlings to buy? Are they readily available like the other crops that you go to any mofa shop and buy? Or where do you get one to buy? 
Noni is not so pieces. common like mm -hmm. ordinary trees. So if you need mm -hmm. noni seedlings to mm -hmm. buy, mm -hmm. just call me. 020 816 Then we can let you have a well cultured noni seedling to plant. I see. And within that one, within short time, you start harvesting. Nice. Yes. Where in Ghana is noni best grown? In Ghana, mm -hmm. from my research, mm -hmm. noni grows from the coastal to the north. Mm -hmm. But best grown is the coastal and the forest region. Mm -hmm. They have the best of noni. And in the whole world, from my research, Ghana, we have the best of noni. Reason. If you compare the the foliage, the leaves of Ghana noni, noni grown in Ghana soil. Mm. Compare it with noni from, say, Polynesia or any other country. That of Ghana is broader. Okay. About thrice or five times that of the noni from Polynesia and other things. And it is greener. All right. Very green, mm. indicating the fertility of the soil. Of the soil. We have fertile soil okay. in Ghana. Right. In, 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 in that case, in which seasons are also best to grow your money? The best is the rainy season, the major season. Mm -hmm. The best, this is the period from May going. Mm -hmm. If you, are, uh, you plan to plant money, mm -hmm. this is the time okay. to plant it because it, the rain is heavy now. There's enough soil for the seedling to be able to I mean, get germinate gain. well. No, Does to, it mean you are transplanting, means, okay. so it will be. Uh, it will have its root firm. Okay. Good. Right. Because if you transplant and it fails to rain, mm. it will die in the following week. Does it mean noni needs a lot of water? It needs a lot of water. Okay. It needs a lot of mm. water. Okay. From the uh, beginning, even the germination mm. uh, stage, mm. if you don't have enough water, it will die. Okay. So between the first three months of germination, mm. it's delicate. I have planted some. Where over 20,000 20, seedlings, they all got dried up oh. because the rain couldn't come. Okay. Even I was watering, mm -hmm. but it, 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 it wasn't it, enough. It, it wasn't enough. Okay. And then it, the one that took six months mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. germinate, it was when the rain started falling. Mm -hmm. It continues for a week. Mm -hmm. Then I saw all the seedlings popping out from the soil. Mm -hmm. So it means it needs a heavy mm -hmm. rain to be able to break through the soil and come. Okay. I know that uh, a lot of the crops need fertilizer, some yeah. input, yeah. amount of input to help it grow well. How about noni? Is it the same? For noni, mm -hmm. uh, if you get um, good soil, you don't need fertilizer. Okay. So far, all the noni I've planted, I've not fertilized that thing. Because I look for land which is fertile. Okay. I go to the, like Cape Coast, mm -hmm. on the Prasu Road. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Um... Frame. Mm -hmm. The soil is good. Mm -hmm. And then you come to Mankasim. Mm -hmm. It was a forest. Mm -hmm. So the soil is good. Okay. And you go to Have, mm -hmm. that place too, the soil is good. Okay. You so go you to means Akachi you have Abo. to test the soil. Yes. It the soil, loamy soil, soil mm -hmm. or well-drained soil mm -hmm. is best it's for noni. best for noni. Okay. Quick one. Now let me take you back here quickly. If I want to uh, cultivate again one mm -hmm. acre of noni farm, how much am I hoping or expected to invest in how much is a bottle of noni seed okay mm. for one acre mm -hmm. the the plowing cost varies from location to location mm. so it's a uh, one acre plow mm -hmm. is thousand ghana right then you plow one acre okay the seedlings if you are buying hundred mm -hmm. one is fifty ghana so fifty one, a bottle of one noni seed. no one seedling seedling like this i was telling you fifty ghana cities Hey. Yeah, because it takes me six months to be able to get the thing germinated from the soil. I see. And it takes me another year right. or two uh -huh. to grow it to uh, a sizable, I mean, length for you to go and transplant. So it will take so me I two years. So I should for 50 Ghana CD for one One, one seedling, okay, I'll sell to you 50 Ghana CDs. That's, okay. And that's then fine. one bottle of mm -hmm. noni, mm -hmm. I'll sell to you one Ghana CD. One okay. liter of noni. Okay. Of my noni. My noni is... Ghana noni juice, but okay. FDA has to change the name. Mm. It went to we'll Ghana. We'll come to the naming mm -hmm. bit. We'll come so, to, so noni from me mm. is the thick one. It mm. composed of the entire fruit, mm -hmm. the seed, the pulp, and the juice. We'll come there. 
We'll Good. talk about the details of the processing. Mm -hmm. Now, quick one. If I cultivate this one acre of mm -hmm. noni, how many sacks am I expected or likely to harvest at around my fifth year? Your fifth year? Mm. For the first harvest. For your first harvest, you are likely to get <coughs> not less than 10 barrels. Okay. Not less than... The barrels than we see These here. barrels here. Okay. These are American mm. barrels. Okay. Your first harvest... Mm. You won't get less than 10 barrels. Okay. Because the first harvest is they are small, small. Then getting to your fifth month, when they start smooth, uh, harvesting, fruiting, then the following year, you are going to get quadruple of the, bar of the barrels. Okay. That so is where the pressure will come. Okay. So it means you need bigger you space. You need bigger space and, and more barrels right. okay. to store. Because as soon as you harvest, mm. You wash it and so So if you don't have barrels, all your work will go in vain. I say you have been doing this for the past 11 years. Are yeah. you able to tell how many fruits one tree, one noni tree, uh, you know, can bear? Yeah, on average, you can get about 50 to 100 fruits per one tree. Per one tree. 50 to 100 fruits. Okay, and I'm able to harvest this every month? Every month. Every, every 28 month. days you harvest. I'll, I'll go and harvest. Yes. Okay, quick. Now... Let's come now mm -hmm. to the main reason why we are here. Mm -hmm. The value addition. Good. The value How addition. How did you start with the value <coughs> addition? Because most of the farmers here in mm -hmm. Ghana, we have just a handful of commercial farmers. Yeah. A lot of them are smallholder yeah, farmers. And farmers. they don't have the means to do the process. To process or add value to yeah. the, the produce they have. So they just sell it raw like that like whatever that. happens to it they don't mind because yeah. they've been able to get their income, income or the small money they invested now what sparked the idea of you adding value to noni actually what happened was when i was doing my master's in public health mm -hmm. at the university of ghana mm -hmm. school of public health mm -hmm. one of the courses we were doing uh, it was um health in the third world countries mm -hmm. so we analyzed all the third world countries mm -hmm. then we saw that the chronic diseases mm -hmm. Within the next three to four years, it's mm. going to be a public health crisis in Ghana. Mm. Because one, <clears throat> the lifestyle has changed. We okay. have imported the bad lifestyle mm. from the Western world. Mm. Two, our eating habit too has changed from the olden days where we were eating herbs mm -hmm. and the plant sources. Mm. So now, whether we like it or yes, the calamity is coming. The okay. public health crisis of diabetes, hypertension, stroke, okay. cancer, okay. those things are coming. Mm. And the conclusion we draw, we draw was that mm. the chemicals mm -hmm. that we are taking now mm. is not able to treat mm. those chronic diseases. Mm. They only manage you mm. to death. Mm. So we look for the alternative solution. It is in the natural pharmacy. When is the natural pharmacy? Mm. The plant sources. Okay. So I went further to, to research. Look, research to find out which... which Plant has the highest source of pro properties. Okay. Then I discovered that noni, noni has been researched over 200 years okay. by the Americans. Okay. And they were hiding the research. Mm. They wanted to patent it. Mm. But they couldn't because the plant was, uh, they went for the noni from Polynesia. Mm. It was three Americans who went there and they saw that the Polynesians were using it to Mr. solve their problems. Don't tell me history. <laughs> Good. So right. when I saw uh -huh. that the Americans now go for it and process it in the uh -huh. U.S. And they were selling one bottle $200. Mm. So even they were not giving it to other persons. Okay. They, they were giving it to the rich people. They call it the rich man's drug. Mm. If your hair is black, they don't give you noni. Unless you have white hair and you are rich. Then before I said, they will before sell, they will sell so noni to you. So these are the reasons that inform me. Inform me that I said, ah, okay. then if this is a plant source, mm -hmm. then let me find out whether we have some of the plants here. Mm. So I did my research. Mm. Around Legon, I went to Osu. I was at um, Osu. Mm. So I went and I saw some of the plants. Then I called my mother. Then he said, um, Go, you come and see. Your father planted some behind his window. So I went to Cape Coast and I saw that my father planted some. So I told my, father, my mother that, Please, we have a land at Fami. I beg, nobody should go there. I'm going to use it for this project. Okay. That is how I said. So I saw it from public health research, okay. from the chronic diseases. Okay. Then I discovered that this is what is happening in the US. Mm. And now, I also discovered that South Africa is using it to treat TB and pneumonia. I see. And they were also doing a research mm. Mm. on the noni. Mm. But the problem is their condition does not support the growth of noni. All right. But when I studied the climatic conditions in Ghana, uh -huh. 
supported the growth of okay. money. Then okay. I researched from the mm. coastal land, mm. then I went to the middle bed, mm. then I went to the north. Okay. Then I said, ah, this is the solution. Right. So when I saw that this is the solution for a problem for the next four, five years to come, mm. that we don't have chemicals are not solving, then it's better to go fully and then get the plantation done okay. to solve that problem. All that right. is why I went into Noni ah, straightly. That is a long history. I'm going for a quick breather. <laughs> when I come back, we'll delve more into the production. All the barrels you see here, there are more in the other part of the room. They are all under fermentation, fermentation, fermentation stages. Process. So we'll talk more on that. So just stick and stay with me. I'll be back and then we'll continue the conversation. Don't go anywhere. You're still watching the Ghanaian farmer. My name is Anyanam, and my guest is Jacob Eshen Jr. He's a farmer, educationist, and public health consultant. He has five acre noni farm, and today our focus is on value addition to noni here in Ghana. Now, quick one after you harvest the fruits from the farm, mm -hmm. how long does it take you to transport it to Accra and then start the process and take us through that process? Good. Um, when they harvest, mm. Quickly, there should be barrels for them to wash it. After was after harvesting, uh -huh. straight they wash it. You have to wash and then put it in the barrel. barrel. Okay. Then you cover. You said the barrel is a metallic yes. ring. We mm -hmm. do this so that it will be airtight. Okay. You said I have locked it. Yes. Uh huh. This what this is a security measure. Once it's locked, mm -hmm. then I am satisfied sure that there is no air, air okay. that can enter. Then I can sleep. So once it is in this state, uh -huh. then we can put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then when uh, I have enough money for transport, mm -hmm. actually the transport, they charge this Kia Rhino mm -hmm. big truck. Yeah. They charge heavily. To move it from the farm. From the farm to, to Accra. Accra. So let's say uh, if that, bar, that car can take say 100 barrels, mm -hmm. then I have to look for their charge or loading from the farm to the car, where the okay, car is. Okay, so let me get this right. After you pluck the food from the tree, Quickly, there's a basin you, you wash, wash it. and then move it to the barrel, cover it with cover this, it. and then, you know, it's seal the whole thing. Yes. So, if it would take you three days on a farm before you move it to here in Accra, to the production center, it's still okay. It's still okay. Once it is in mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. and locked, mm -hmm. normally I lock it with padlock, mm -hmm. then I am safe. Right? It can be there mm -hmm. till I get a car, a vehicle to transport, to transport it. So, it can take Accra. me two weeks okay. or one Still month. on the farm and it doesn't have any problem. No, I put okay. it in a place, mm. a, 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 a well secured place okay. with lock and key. Okay. So my, my first mm. caution is mm. it should be under this prescribed barrel okay. with the lock. Okay. Then it should be there. Right. So I give myself mm -hmm. say one month to organize money to move, to move the to thing the production down to, to Accra. Okay. How long do you do the fermentation for? The fermentation I prefer my fermentation to go nine months or beyond one year. My minimum is nine months. Nine months? Yeah, I keep it for nine months. This one, <laughs> they are, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this yeah. one's are nine months. So it's going 12 months. Why? The longer it stays, uh -huh. the better it becomes. I see. You see, noni, when you harvest it, uh -huh. mm, and it starts, it becomes gray. Yes. Then the water starts dripping. Mm -hmm. It goes through a lot of uh, color spectrum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the liquid that will come was colorless. Mm -hmm. Then to change to mm -hmm. uh, light yellow. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to golden yellow. Mm -hmm. 
from golden yellow it goes to brown mm. then brown it goes to dark okay. when you see this dark right. it, means that it has gone process. through to, it is over nine months okay, okay. so okay. the darker it is right. the better the it, it is, is. yes okay. and then mm. my I, I have been able to process the seed the pop and the juice together all, all together. the dark food okay so it's more this is hundred percent noni as compared to the one from the US that is five percent, twenty percent, and hold it. Mm -hmm. Now, after nine months or after a year, mm -hmm. what then happens before we see this in the bottle? Good. When the time is due, mm -hmm. I open the the, the seal. The seal. Mm -hmm. Then I have a machine. Okay. A mail machine. Right. I I rent. I don't have my own. My okay. own is not ready, so mm. I rent the machine. Mm -hmm. Then we we separate the liquid. Then it will be left with the fruit itself. Then the machine will mail the fruit together with the seed. Okay. So it mail it first one, mm -hmm. then it mail the second one. We test it. If the third time is okay, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. If it's not good, we mail the third time. Okay. So that I can get the seed is very that hard. Is, okay. Smooth the, surface. The 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 noni seed is very hard and difficult okay. to mail mm -hmm. at that wet stage. Mm -hmm. So once it is milled, I also put it in there, this thing, again. Barrel, you pour but it back I into the barrel. Pour it back into the barrel. Okay. Then I cook it again. So okay. it will be there for another two months or three months. At that stage, it also goes through... It's the same process Yes, again. it's natural fermentation Stay. process. Okay. Because when you mill, mm, when I realize it, when you pour the water, the water has to be dark. But when you come and add the seed to it, the color reverses. If it was very dark, mm -hmm. it will come to brown, okay. light brown. Okay. But when you put it down again for about three, four months, mm -hmm. it becomes dark like this okay. again. So it's like the longer it stays, the better okay. it becomes. So you then, wait for another two or three so, months. Yes. And then what happens then after that? After that, uh -huh. when I open it, mm -hmm. I temperature it. Okay. You see, we mail it. Okay. So we, when I open it for the second time, we sieve it. Mm -hmm. We sieve it for the seed, the leftover yeah, yes, to, to come, come out. out. Okay. Then we temperature it. Right. So the temperature, we temperature it for not less than two hours. Okay. To make sure that any organism, if by chance any organism has entered, that organism will it's be dead. dead. Okay. So once it is temperatured mm. for not less than mm. two hours, mm. then I move it from mm. that room. Then I bring it here. For bottling. For cooling. Okay. That's why we have the air the conditioning air, here. Air condition. And the fan. Okay. So the air condition will be on, the okay. fan will be on. To cool. To cool. Okay. The thing. You see the white rubber? Yeah. It's not the white rubber mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You put it in those white rubbers. It's an American uh, standard rubber. So it cools. So once the temperature drops to zero, mm, then we start it's the bottling. ready for bottling bottling okay because you are using mm. plastic mm -hmm. so under those circumstances you put mm. uh, a high temperature thing in a in a plastic i know yeah. all right so that's why i mm. wait for it to mm. come to mm. zero degrees mm. you have made mention of a few illnesses mm -hmm. that noni cures yeah and that is one of the reason why you have to start the production or value addition to the fruit yeah. now let's talk about market availability because every farmer in this country <laughs> is almost crying for post harvest losses yeah. recently on linkedin a lady posted her mother's mango farm and the whole produce was yeah. just rotting rotten. Yeah. rotting away which is very sad it's, it's disheartening yeah. uh, for you you are just one of the few people who are into this yeah okay how do you go about marketing after this Five years of waiting to harvest, another one year of yeah. fermentation, another three months to even start bottling. Yeah. After all this, where do you sell your produce? One, mm. because I'm technologically inclined, okay. I use a lot of technology, mm. social media. Okay. That's my first thing. To market the, to market the product. The product. Mm. Because all my research, I mm. go to know it through social media. Mm. Through internet. Okay. So the same channel. You use the same channel to market. To market it. How about those who are not on internet? internet? Those who are not on internet. Mm. I use, at times I use uh, radio interviews. Mm. Once I go on radio interview, mm. I give my number. Okay. So people call. Okay. And then we you deliver. sell to them. We sell okay. to them. That's another means Good. of doing it. And we're doing, we're going to do TV adverts. Mm. And, that, and when 
uh, FDA came, came in with in. new regulations. Okay. So the new regulations, they... So they, it means you are currently going through that process? Oh, yeah. We have gone through all mm -hmm. the process. They've been here mm -hmm. three times. Mm -hmm. And even now it is left with the label. You see, okay. they changed the name from Ghana. They say I shouldn't use Ghana yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. So I changed it to Ghanaian Noni. And then still the officer said, no, you will not accept. Okay. You have not only Ghanaian. Okay. Then I so said, no. from their document, mm -hmm. it was stated Ghana. They didn't say Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. And there's a difference between Ghana and Ghanaian. Yes. So they said, okay, then okay. they will delay me. Okay. So now finally, uh, it's okay. If you want to accept it, mm -hmm. I gave them another option that I'll use my own name. Okay. So you have a Shen Noni Jew. So for this one, okay. I've submitted no that thing. Uh, I'm waiting You're for them waiting to for write officially to okay. me. Then okay. with that one, they'll mm. give me the new number. Mm. Then I can put mm. the new number on it. And then now I can go on TV, mm -hmm. advert, and then the rest. Everything. Yeah. So most of my clients mm. are from outside the country. Okay. They Canada. order for it. Yeah, they contact me. And then we send and then it to them. It because them. they know mm. Noni over there. Now, and the, mm -hmm. the, the, the ones that they, they compare my quality to what they, they have. They are so them. happy. I know. And then quickly <laughs> right. they order from okay. Ghana. Uh, Mr. Ishan, uh, I mean, somewhere in April when we had the first Ghanaian Pharma Conference, you were one of the participants. Mm -hmm. And you raised concern with regards to a few things. And one of the main one has to be lack of funding for farmers. I'm sure you've heard about the development bank that government has gone to secure funding for mm -hmm. to come and, you know, establish <laughs> and, and that will support farmers. I mean, you, what's your take? I mean, what has been your biggest challenge, first of all, as a farmer for this past year? Number one is finance. Financial support is a disaster in this country. As I sit here, since 2009 to date, I've never, never, Security support from any government sources. No bank in Ghana has ever helped me. No bank. I am not on salary. But I decided I would do this to solve a problem for Ghanaians. Mm. And no bank. I've tried ADB. I've tried UMB. I've tried Stambeg Bank. The thing is new to them. And the money involved is too huge. Could it be your proposal is not well written? Or you are not pitching the idea well? Let me tell you. Mm. Do you know Kisley Hayford? Yes, he was at their conference. He was writing proposals for companies to get support from ADB. But when he's doing rice production, he didn't get any he didn't get support. Same. It is intentional. The bank, yeah, ADB. Last time I was saying that ADB should be collapsed and merged with CGB. Because the policy was to help ag its agriculture development bank. But now, they keep the money and divert the money to do different things. So they don't give it to agriculture. Do you have evidence? <laughs> this is the view I've of told you that I have, you know, anything I talk about is what I have felt it. Mm. I have applied, I have researched, and I feel it so I know how it is. 